Red Cross went door to door today offering to help those in need, but we're being told tonight no one had to be put up in housing or a shelter. And News 5's Laura Wilson has this story for us. Laura. Hey guys, but if you look around, I mean, it looks like it's the month of December. I'm in ankle deep hail, but this goes all the way up to your waist. And just because the Red Cross didn't put anyone up tonight doesn't mean all these homes are okay. A lot of people opting to stay with friends and family, and they're not sure when they'll get to come back home. It looked like the middle of winter at the corner of Bijou Street and Logan Avenue Monday afternoon. But what you saw outside wasn't even the half of it. Carpet, you know, wet throughout both bedrooms, the living room, uh, laundry room completely flooded. One of the cars is I'm guessing total today. Seven Red Cross volunteers went door to door in parts of Colorado Springs, offering assistance to those in need of it. Surprisingly, only three cases were open today, which amounted to six people asking volunteers for help. Red Cross expects another half dozen will be opened by tomorrow morning. Some homes already look to be a total loss. I go to walk to our apartment and it's completely flooded. Our our apartment's flooded all the way to the top. How my motorcycle survived sitting there, um, it's unbelievable. I feel bad for them. They lost everything. Carrie Schatzman says she couldn't believe just how quickly her downstairs neighbor's unit filled with water this afternoon. In 90 seconds, it took out the front door and it went completely through the house and out the back door. Schatzman says she had to talk her neighbor out of retrieving any of her keepsakes for fear that she might not make it back out. I held her in my arms while she cried and I told her you're lucky to be alive. Many residents along Logan Avenue have opted to stay with friends or relatives, but for how long they're not sure. And for some, it's that unknown that's the hardest part in all of this. Is it going to rain again? Are we going to get more damage? We don't know. Now, Red Cross volunteers will be back out knocking on doors tomorrow. They do expect to open up even more cases than they did today. Now, if you need help, you don't need to wait for someone to knock on your door. You can contact the Red Cross or you can go to our website, koaa.com. We'll have all that information for you. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Laura Wilson, News 5.